Law enforcement officials in one Hill, count, Hill Country County have launched a program to draw blood from DWI suspects who refuse a breathalyzer, but the local hospital is refusing a court order to do it. KXAN's Aaron Cargill joins us live from Marble Falls to explain. Aaron, what's going on? Well, Shannon, Marble Falls police pushed to get their new blood warrant program in place three weeks ago for law enforcement officials across the county. But little did they know their first DWI suspect, the local hospital tested, would be their last. Now, Seton Highland Lakes Medical Center wrote a letter to local law enforcement and county officials stating effective immediately they will not draw blood under a search warrant. The Burnett County Judge and Marble Falls Police Chief have both tried contacting Seton to find out why. Neither have received an answer. Both wonder the reasoning behind Seton refusing to follow a court order. That's the question. That's the question. Uh, we asked them to, to brought, provide us the legality of, of them being able to say no to a court order. Now this afternoon, Seton emailed us a statement saying they will draw a DWI suspect's blood, but they have to meet the following four conditions. Number one, an officer must arrest them. Number two, they must have been operating a vehicle or boat involved in an accident as a result of alcohol. At the time of the arrest, the officer must also believe there's a possibility someone involved in the accident will die or is injured. And number four, the suspect must refuse to submit a blood specimen voluntarily. Now, under any other conditions, Seton states the law is unclear and it is questionable whether a licensed hospital can draw blood from a person without an order from a qualified practitioner. Now, in the meantime, Marble Falls PD and Burnett County are taking DWI suspects to Lano Memorial Hospital for blood tests under a search warrant. In the meantime, the county and Seton hospitals hope that they can both come to a solution soon. We're live in Marble Falls, Aaron Cargill, KXAN, Austin News.